name is Addie, and um, I'd like to talk a little bit about what it's like for me to say yes to God. I struggle a lot with knowing more so when God's asking me to do something or to react in a certain way. Um, and I feel that I didn't even take into account that God was ever asking me to do things purposefully up until probably the last six months to eight months. I felt like it was just kind of my own thing and my own ideas. And uh, lately it's been very clear to me that there are certain things that God's asking of me, but I struggle in my in my brain, I guess, uh, with determining is it is it God's voice? Is it my voice? Um, am I saying things I want Him to say to me, or is it really Him asking me uh, asking me to say yes to Him? Where do you think God led you first? Where do, where was His first ask, if you will? So I think the first time, looking back now, that I can recall that was a big yes for me with God was him leading me to run retreats for our nonprofit, which I immediately said yes to. And I believe that was a big first yes for me because of what came out of it after. The reason I feel like it was such a big piece for me in my spiritual walk was um, a friend of mine, um, well, that wasn't a friend at the time, but another attendee at the retreat had also lost a child and um, talked about her walk with God through her loss. I pushed God so far away. Just meeting her and knowing that she lost a child too and could still love God and think that God loves her really opened up the door for me to uh, believe that, that he still loved me and, and that I could also trust in him again. And so that was in October of 2015. The next yes I said was, to um, start church that following January, which is when I first stepped foot into Skyline. What happened next? Was it something you were just easily able to fall into with your family? Did you immediately want to join ministry? Like what steps did you take once you were in the body of the church and, and realizing, I guess, all these new opportunities opened themselves up to you? So once I started Skyline, I um, did just that. I just attended church. I was very backward and awkward and shy and wasn't really fully, I guess, saying yes at that point. I was just showing up and was just trying to let, you know, the, the messages and the worship work through me and see what that would look like. Um, I stayed that way for at least a year. My family didn't go with me. It was my, my oldest son, Jackson, came with me, but my husband and my younger two stayed home. And um, it was kind of our little thing that we did. Um, until probably a year later when I felt God saying, you need to connect. This is this is so surface level. So I did. I started uh, attending a life group and trying to put myself out there a little more and make connections with people, um, which all felt really right and good. Um, it just took me a lot longer to um, take that leap, I suppose. Uh, I joined Meal Ministry, which felt very doable for me. I wanted to become a part of uh, Skyline in a deeper way, but just knew that my limitations. I had a lot of limitations as far as like what I could do with the kids and things, but it wasn't until I really felt the need to dive fully into a ministry where it wasn't just, you know, once or twice a month here and there or something that I felt like I was actually giving back to this community, this church that had done at that point so much for me that I felt uh, the real need to, to dive in deep. So um, September of 2018, I made the step of baptism and that was really when I gave myself over fully to Christ and not just the act but just the idea of you know accepting Christ as my savior and I knew that I just really wanted to fully go and so I remember praying to God and saying even to my husband like I really want to you know dive into something ministry wise and Erica and Katie who uh, eBay who runs Huddle approached me and asked me if I would consider um, hosting a small group within within Huddle, which is the high school program that we run. And I was fully honored, but also like completely shocked. I had just taken my step of baptism and I, I feel and felt not nearly as knowledgeable as I should be um, to lead these young women towards Christ. So I didn't answer right away. I kind of thought about what it would look like for our family and me. And that was when I realized that God was using those uh, those women as vessels to have me say yes. What was it like jumping into working with high schoolers? Like that's not <laughs> that's not just the ministry people say, "Oh yeah, that's totally where I'm supposed to go." So leading these women, these young women has been uh, such a blessing, but also uh, gosh, it has made me 
dig deeper into my own self and my own faith, I knew jumping into this, they would have questions that I wouldn't have the answers to. Um, hard questions. These are young women who are on the brink of adulthood, who don't understand certain things in the Bible that don't make sense to them. And it's not the culture. And um, to say I was nervous, it was an understatement. I, uh, be actually leading up to huddle, I had not prayed in front of people in years. And I knew that I was going to need to do that. So little things that seem little to other people were very big to me. I think it's been maybe three or four months at this point now that I have stopped questioning myself and know that I'm the right person for this. But there was so many times I would apologize to Katie. I'm sorry I can't be at church on Sunday because my nonprofit requires me to be doing this or I have a commitment here and constantly feeling like I was less than and not what these women needed and what Katie needed and had asked of me and what God was asking of me. Um, but thankfully, through her encouragements, I just it just became very clear to me that um, though I'm not as biblically knowledgeable as I'd love to be, and I'm constantly working on that, um, these these young women appreciate that and understand that, and I just can only hope that they feel at this blessed by our connection as I do, because I feel it is a definite best yes for me. I feel like the everyday yes that I say to God that it feels the most powerful for me um, is when I say yes to trusting in Him. And so it's not this big leadership role or these big retreats um, that might impact a, a lot of people in a lot of different ways. Um, for me, it's such a calming feeling to say, yes, God, I trust you. And I know that you've got this. And I think a lot of women, I hate to put us all in this category, love to be in control of things and feel safe when we're in control of things. And I never, ever thought that letting go of that control and saying yes to God and giving it to someone else, giving it to God, giving it to Him would feel freeing and 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 peaceful and calming, but it a thousand percent does.